Hello and welcome to Pre-Algebra Lesson 6 and in this video we're going to be learning about adding whole numbers using a number line. So the lesson objective for today will be to just learn how to add whole numbers again using a number line. So during a previous lesson we talked about using a number line to visually represent a group of numbers. So let's look at a number line that shows the whole numbers and again I've talked about the whole numbers in previous lessons. The whole numbers are a group of numbers that start with zero so zero is your smallest whole number, and then they increase in increments of one. So after zero, you get one, then two, then three, then four. Again, just increasing in increments of one, and this continues forever. And that's why we have the three dots here. When you see the three dots in this case, it means that the pattern, which we're increasing in increments of one, is gonna continue forever. So after four comes five, then six, then seven, so on and so forth. So if we look at the whole numbers using a number line, Again, this is a number line. This is a visual representation of the whole numbers. So you'll see the leftmost whole number is zero. That's your smallest whole number. And you see you have a little notch here. Now, every time you have another notch as you move to the right, you're going to the next largest whole number. So you go to one, then you're going to two, then you're going to three, then you're going to four, so on and so forth. So it's impossible to list all the whole numbers. So basically what we do is at some point we just stop and it can be basically anywhere. I could have stopped this at five. You just draw an arrow to say, hey, this is going to continue forever. Okay, so we can use the number line to visually show the addition of whole numbers. So this may seem like a trivial exercise, but it will help us a lot when we start working with integers. So this is going to seem kind of like it's a waste of time to you at first, but when you start working with integers, especially for the first few times that you work with integers, with addition and subtraction, it's a lot easier to start out doing it on a number line. And if you already had that experience doing it with whole numbers, it'll make it a little bit easier for you when you do it with integers. So how do we add whole numbers on a number line? Well, we start at the leftmost number. So for example, if you had three plus seven, you would start out at three on the number line. And then you move to the right by the number of units being added. So we're adding seven to three. So we would just move to the right by seven units. It's actually very, very, very simple. So let's take a look at some examples now. We wanna add two plus six using the number line. So the leftmost number, the two, is where we're gonna start on the number line. So we're just gonna start right here. And then we're adding six, okay, we're adding six. So I'm just gonna go six units to the right and I'll be at my answer. So I'm gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six units to the right. I'm at eight, so that is my answer. And all of us know at this point that two plus six is eight. So two plus six equals eight. It's just to get the practice of doing it on the number line. Okay, now we wanna add four plus seven using a number line. And so I have a number line that's a little bit larger, it's a little bit more crowded, but we can still find everything. We're adding four plus seven, so we're gonna start at the leftmost number or the four, and that's gonna be right here. This is your four. And then you're adding seven. So we're just gonna move seven places to the right. So each notch is a place or increased by one. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that's gonna put us right here at 11. Okay, at 11. And again, we all know that four plus seven is 11. Again, it's just to get the practice of doing it on the number line. So four plus seven equals 11. Okay, now we wanna add six plus five plus one using a number line. Although we're adding three numbers, the process is basically the same. We're starting at this leftmost number, so we're starting at six, so that's gonna be right here. And then we're gonna go five places to the right, because we're adding five. So one, two, three, four, five. So that puts us at 11, and we all know that six plus five is 11. Now we're adding one more, so we just go one more place to the right. So one more place to the right, that puts us at 12. And so our answer for six plus five plus one is of course equal to 12. Okay, now we wanna add three plus two plus one plus seven, again, using a number line. So let's find three, that's where we're gonna start, the leftmost number. And that's right here, that's this guy. And we're gonna move two places to the right because we're adding two. So that's gonna go one, two places to the right. And now we're adding one, so we're gonna go one more place to the right. 
and then we're adding seven, so we're gonna go seven places to the right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we end up here at 13. So three plus two plus one plus seven equals 13. And I kind of checked this since we can all do addition. Three plus two is five, five plus one is six, six plus seven is in fact 13. Essentially, you're just starting at the leftmost number of the addition problem. Every time you add something, you just move that number of places to the right on the number line. So we started at three, we moved two places to the right to get to five, then we moved another place to the right to get to six, and then we moved seven places to the right to get to our final answer of 13. Okay, let's look at the final one. We wanna add two plus three, plus five, plus four, plus seven, plus one, using a number line. So again, we're gonna start at the leftmost number, so that's two, so we'll start out here on the number line. And every time I add something, I just move that number of places to the right. So I'm adding three, so I just wanna go three places to the right. So one, two, three places to the right. So that put me at five. Then I'm adding five, so I'm going five places to the right. Let me just change colors. So one, two, three, four, five places to the right. So that would put me at 10. Then I'm adding four. So now I'm gonna go four places to the right. So one, two, three, four places to the right. That's gonna put me at 14. I'm adding seven to that. So that's gonna put me seven places to the right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven places to the right. That's gonna put me at 21. And then lastly, I'm gonna add one more to that. So that is going to put me at 22. So that's my final answer here, it's 22. So we have two plus three plus five plus four plus seven plus one, and the answer is 22. And to check that, just go through and do your addition. Two plus three is five, five plus five is 10, 10 plus four is 14, 14 plus seven is 21, 21 plus one is 22. So again, adding whole numbers on a number line seems pretty trivial. It's actually very, very easy, but it's gonna help us when we get to adding integers. And again, what we do is we start at the leftmost number of the addition problem on the number line, and then every time we add a number, we move to the right on the number line by that number of units.